Christmas illuminations. I am very proud of how my house decorations has turned out. It is worth being out in the freezing cold for the last week um, in order to get this all set up. The white tree here is a snake bark maple which my father-in-law grew from seed. It was um, originally in Trinity College grounds and when John graduated from his degree uh, Bill was up and there were seeds uh, scattered on the, the driveway so um, he picked them up. He was a collector of um, rare trees and he managed to make get one growing. So when we moved into our house uh, he gave us a present of the snake bark maple. These four trees here belonged to my brother Pat and it was supposed to go into his cottage but unfortunately he passed away 21 years ago and uh, I inherited them from my mother. And our Christmas tree, all twinkly and decorated by Christian this year by himself instead of himself and his two brothers because uh, William and Jonathan are in lockdown in Dublin and we can't get them home until the 18th because of government regulations and uh, I'm very proud how my carriage lights in particular turned out because there's an internal gutter which means that I have no actual gutters like on the house to hang lights off so I invented oops I invented a hanging system using metal hangers twisted open and uh, making a hook over the top of the rectangular coin stones and successfully allowing me to hang my Christmas tree or my Christmas lights on the balcony and that is our heirloom Santa Claus that is 19 years old from our first Christmas in America when Jonathan was a baby his first Christmas because previous to that we used to go between the in-laws for Christmas so that was our first Christmas because we we're over living in America at the time anyway I'm heading in it's absolutely Baltic take care god bless bye bye